sam Iljica. A sam Rado. I nije smo od Bogarija. Što će ga? Ciao, il mio nome è Francesca e vengo dall'Italia. So I came here to study in Scotland because uh, I wanted to grow up and be an independent person. And this university was the best for my course in UK. And the employability after graduation is like 80%, so it's very good. Well, in contrast to her, I don't have any specific reason uh, to come here, I just wanted to experience something new, to get in touch with new people, new cultures, and as I said, this was the best opportunity for me. I came to Aberdeen to study because um, I think like Scotland gives like a good opportunities for students to see that it's like free, um, and so that is why like uh, I basically like decided to live in Italy. I'm not like actually like a big fan of my country as well. So um, also if I had already a, a degree, um, I decided like to give like a, have like a, another chance to to study what I really like. So I decided to move here because I originally wanted to go to London, but my parents were against me going to a big city. So Aberdeen it was. And I chose this uni and city because they had a good program. And they don't have the program as fashion management back in Croatia. So it was either RGU or staying at home and being depressed. <laughs> so first I find very strange that the clubs are open until 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. Because back in Bulgaria we are used to partying like around until around 10 a.m. in the morning. Well, the thing that I found unusual here is that you cannot buy alcohol after 10 p.m. Uh, because uh, you are not supposed to finish the party at that time, but you are supposed to start it. I can see there are like lots of different. Um, well, the culture, the mentality can be like different from my country but like i can give you like just a simple example um we don't wait uh, we don't queue like uh, to get in a, in a, in a bus because um usually we just buy a ticket and then we get in what shocked me the most when i moved here was that back in croatia we have a lot of cafes where you sit for hours with your friends and talk you don't really drink, you even drink coffee. I mean, you do, but you just sit there and talk. And such a concept does not really exist here. So at the beginning, I would spend like most of the time, most of my time at the beach because I loved it and it reminded me of home a lot because we have so many beaches in Croatia, and, you know, on the coast, not in the capital where I'm from. But yeah. So the second thing I find unusual here is that uh, you, the people are dressed very strange to, for me because the weather outside is so cold and all of them are wearing just shorts or tops or stuff like that like but i'm not used to it because I, I like to live in like bigger city um um with bigger building so it's like kind of different here's like look like i don't know like it i always like to say like british style style like small houses and um which is like different from like Italy and build that I like in the city center area. You can go work whatever you want. You can go whenever you want. You can buy everything you want just around the corner in some supermarket. You can find everything here. Yeah, but the problem is that everything is too formal. For example, you have to book an appointment for the doctor. If you feel very sick, you not just go to the doctor and yeah, you have to make an appointment as well for a bank. If you want to open a deposit or something like that in the bank, you have to book an appointment as well. So, how would we describe our experience in Scotland in one word? What do you think? What's your word? For me, it may be unexpected. What would be yours? I think like developing. Diverse.